to Easy Mind, Easy Life. So, continuing on with the topic of being in hospital and the gallbladder attacks, conversations with your body. This one is about the food that we eat. Okay, so, what I realized was, <laughs> um, the food that we eat, I've had a discussion about this before, okay? Now, I've seen my husband can eat anything, right? And the funny thing was, recently we were having a conversation, and he said to me, I don't care if it kills me, I want it to taste good, right? And oh, my daughter and I, we couldn't stop laughing, right? At what he said. <laughs> but he's right. We get so caught up in it's healthy, it's not healthy, it's good, it's bad, it's, you know, we label all the foods, right? And we decide from listening to everyone else out there that this food is good, and this food is bad, this food is healthy, this food is not healthy right now once you've made that belief about every single piece of food that you are going to put into your mouth that it's good or that it's bad you already have a thought created around it rather than sitting there with the food and thinking oh my god i'm going to enjoy this so much right this is going to be just so yummy i can't wait to try it because we came here to experience everything right <laughs> We sit there judging that, oh, I shouldn't be eating that. It's going to make me sick or it's bad for my body or whatever. We already have all these beliefs about it, all these thoughts about the food rather than trying to enjoy how it's going to taste, the texture, the, you know, um, doesn't matter if it's rich, not rich. It, it, I, that's beside the point for me. Food is food, you know, and because we have all these beliefs about it's good for you or it's bad for you, as you're eating it, if you're already thinking this is going to make me fat, think about it. Think about the thoughts you have when you're eating. I know because these were all my thoughts. It's going to make you fat. It's bad for me. It's going to give me a heart attack. <laughs> um, all along those lines, right? All those things. Every time you eat and you're thinking that the food is bad for you, you're thinking that it's not healthy. All of that, your body is listening because it's intelligent. Your body is intelligent enough to heal itself if you get out of the way. When your body is sick, it's because it has a lesson for you. It is trying to tell you something. And when you don't get that lesson, that disease, that discomfort, whatever it is that you have, will either stay there or repeat, like it did with me with the gallbladder attack. Repeat. That could be one of two. It could be your body saying, when are you going to love me? Which means, when are you going to love yourself? Because once you love yourself, there is nothing but love for everything else. And it stores that pain for you. We're still not loving ourselves. Okay, I'm going to hold it down here for you. Mine was the gallbladder. Yours could be the heart. I know for my dad, it was a heart attack before he was 40. So I'm going to manifest this for you. Because I love you so much that I want you to know you're not loving yourself yet. I'm going to slow you down with this disease, slow you down with this heart attack, put you in the hospital for a couple of weeks, get you to slow down. Maybe in that time, in that space, when you can't do anything else but sit with me, with your body, you can start to look at you. Body loves us unconditionally. It is here to serve us. It has no other purpose. Whether it has a disease or it doesn't, whether it was born with one, whether you have a chronic one. Chronic diseases. We choose everything before we come in. We choose everything before this the lifetime starts. 
Chronic disease is something that we choose to experience because it affects everyone around us, everyone's life around us. It affects us. We get so caught up in the disease. We identify with the disease. But that's just the body. And you are not the body. Your body is a vessel. It's your vessel to get around in, in this world. Whether it moves a lot or it moves a little or it's stuck because of disease, it can't move anywhere. You still have a spirit inside of you that is awake, that is aware, that is experiencing the world. And I honestly think people that are healed in an instant is because they have understood that lesson. Whatever that body was holding for them, whatever that discomfort, disease, illness, whatever you want to call it, that they may have had, no matter how many years they've had it for, they finally understood the lesson. The why. Why they chose that. Why that was here. And they can let it go. So today, no matter where you are in your body, your body has its own intelligence. And if we could just step out of whatever beliefs we have that we need the doctor, like I did with a gallbladder, she needed to remove it because I believed her that once it started having attacks, it never stops. It never heals. It can't heal. It was basically her language. You can believe others, you can believe doctors, you know? And belief will only keep you in that limitation, in that limited space of, oh, that's all there is. And how many doctors send people home? Oh, there's no cure for this, sorry. But take a tablet anyway. Maybe there's a couple of tablets, maybe three or four. We'll see how many we can give you before you walk out the door but we don't have a cure for it. That's their opinion. That's what they think, that's what they believe, that's what they know. They don't have a cure for it. Doesn't mean it can't be healed. So, <laughs> interesting topic today. Yes. So yes, start talking to your body. Start thinking about what thoughts revolve around the food that you eat. Do you eat and you think, oh, this is really good for me and really, you know, nourishing my body. And a lot of people do that. You know, they have smoothies and shakes and make all sorts of special salads. And they're really focused on only eating what's healthy. But what if none of that matters? What if we are here to enjoy the taste of a pizza, taste of an ice cream? And that's, it's that simple. We were never here to judge, you know? And we're not eating buckets of it. I'm just saying, you know, once a month, have a pizza. You know, if it makes you happy, it tastes really nice. But if you're going to eat it thinking the whole time, oh, this is bad for me, this is going to make me fat, this is all those negative thoughts, don't eat it. Because you're already telling your body, oh, this is what I think of it. And your body's already going, right, this is bad, this makes us fat. On it. Good job. <laughs> it's always listening. So, yes, first step towards healing. Just tell it you love it. Not from a place of just saying the words, like affirmations all day long. I am wealthy, I am healthy, I am, I am, I am. They're just words. It's the vibration that you need to get to, the vibration of love, loving everything, because everything is serving you. Remember that, 
everything is sad in you all right my darlings i love you guys so remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages and i'll see you in the next video bye for now